Hello YouTube family, Facebook family, biological family, and friends. Also, hello new acquaintances. I'm Carol Cortez on assignment, and that's called Mission Possible, to bless us all with information, both you and me. Welcome to AHEAD. That's an acronym for Achievers, Happy, Encouraged, Accomplished, and Determined. That's who I am, and I pray and trust that's who you are also. I want to start out by asking you if you would please, below this recording is a thumb, one facing down, one up. Click on the one facing up. Let me and YouTube know that you like this broadcast, okay, please? And also, click on subscribe and ring the notification bell that's next to subscribe. Three bells will show up. Ring the one that's solid. That way, when I upload a broadcast, you'll be informed and you can choose whether or not it's good timing for you to watch it. And for those who have already subscribed, I want to say and send to you a heartfelt thank you. I really, we really need for YouTube to know that there is an audience for this information that I'm giving and sharing with you. So, Please subscribe. Uh, they are looking at metrics and uh, the analytics of the different uh, YouTube creator channels. And I want them to see good analytics for me. And also uh, determine that this is a strong conversation that people are plugging into. Okay? And if you would please share this information with everyone so they too can subscribe okay and i pray that you find the content to be good and informative enlightening encouraging and all the things that god wants you to to encapsulate and to go out into the world with and uh and i thank you for helping me with this task this is a ministry and i don't and i i don't take it lightly i take it seriously and i'm passing on the information to you that I need your help. I need your support so that YouTube can say and see this is a good thing that we have going on with this channel. Please know that I have guests from time to time on my channel. So please continue to look at the channel and see what all that I currently have there and what new information and new guests that I have for you, okay? So anyway, I've been a little perplexed about something and I thought I'd bring it to you and um, share some information that I found out. And uh, if you would please let me know in the comments what you found out uh, because we all are, you know, learning different, 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 I'm sorry, different information and we strengthen each other when we share that information with one another, okay? So what I've been perplexed about is the Bible speaks in great lengths about Jesus throughout the Bible. However, why wasn't emphasis made on his birth date and birth month? Why weren't we given the exact day and or month so we can know when to celebrate his birth? So, I did a little digging, looking at scripture, and I found um, in the book of Luke some information. You can attest, I'm sure, for those of you that have read the Bible, and uh, that while the Bible says a lot to all of us, which encourages us and strengthens us, it is absolutely silent about his birthday and birth month. It would be nice if we knew, but we know God is all-knowing, and so he has a reason for it all. However, in the interim, 
We've had theologians and speculators with all sorts of theories and analysis surrounding why we celebrate Christmas and Christ's birth and why we celebrate on December 25th. And you know, that's, that's great to have theories and, and, and analysis and uh, speculations. Uh, that's good so that we can help to encourage one another that he was and is. But nonetheless, let me share with you some scriptures that I found in the book of Luke. I'm going to be reading um, Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 17. And I found some uh, peace of mind, some fantastic peace of mind clues concerning the perplexed issue that I had concerning Jesus' birth date and month. So, let me share this with you. That's the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 through 17, and it reads, In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree a, that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, because he belonged to the household and line of King David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest rooms available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born. Has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told 
to them about this child. So, as I mentioned, there in that text, in the scriptures, I found some mind, peace of mind clues. And I'm going to share them with you. Predominantly, there's two main ones. First of all, the angel came to proclaim that Jesus had been born. Number one, he was born and there was a proclamation that he was Lord. He is the Lord, the Messiah. So first of all, there was the proclamation. And then secondly, the angel spoke to the shepherds and told them of his birth and told them how they'd find the Lord, the Messiah, laying in a manger. So with those witnesses, the shepherds, they spread the word. And of course we know now centuries later, the Word continues to ripple throughout society to the point where we are now. We celebrate his birthday. We don't know the exact day, but we know we got a confirmation that he was born and that he is the Lord and the Messiah. And there are Witnesses. There were witnesses that proclaimed his birth and spread the good news. So, anyway, scripture tells of peace on earth to those on whom God's favor rests. Once again, the scripture tells of peace on earth to those on whom God's favor rests. The disciple Luke indicates the main focus was that Jesus' birth brought a, brought a new circumstance on earth by the grace of God in the gift of Jesus Christ the anointed one. Grace of God. Grace is God's unmerited favor. It's a gift available to all of us. It's available. However, there are necessary requirements. And you can read um, the book of Romans chapter 10 about those requirements. And also in the different four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you'll find other information concerning you need to be or should be baptized. So moving right along. We who God's favor rest on can be grateful to the Virgin Mary for accepting, agreeing, to the Immaculate Conception. We can be grateful to her husband Joseph for obeying God and marrying her. But furthermore, and especially, we can be thankful to God and his gift to us, his gift of Jesus, our Lord, our Messiah. With the worldwide celebration of Christmas, let's be very cognizant of the emphasis and be wise with our gift buying and gift giving. 
The emphasis throughout it all should be on the gift that was given to us, the greatest gift to humanity, and that's Jesus Christ. Let's show gratitude for God's generosity to us. Thank Jesus for providing a pathway of redemption from sin and separation from our Creator. I once heard something and I said, that's a very wise statement and I'm going to share it with you. I heard someone say, I would prefer to live like there is a God and be received by him when I die than to live like there is no God and run the risk of being cast in eternal damnation and torment when I die. It's a personal choice. You may want to think about it and choose. Despite my, my personal life's trials and tribulations, I have found that walking in Christ and giving my life to Christ has brought me a joy beyond any joy I ever experienced, and I love it. I love it, and that's why I share this with you. I find, I have found despite uh, the occasional sorrows in my life that have really made me uh, feel dis it, a great despair. Nonetheless, after a while, Christ, Jesus Christ guides me back to a place of peace of mind. And while people may tell you things and, and, and give you condolences and, and share their empathy with you, there is nothing like the peace that God can bring to you in the throes of your sorrow. And to get you back on an even footing of peace, love, and joy. So please allow me to zealously share with you my love for Jesus and what it all means to me. And I'm sure a lot of you will say, that means a lot to me too, and me too. And so let me share this with you. Scripture tells us that Jesus is the life shepherd and bishop of souls. You'll find that in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 25. He is the high priest. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 22. He is the advocate. 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. In the Gospel of John, for, uh, chapter 1, verse 29. He is Lord of Lords. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 15. He is the resurrection and the life. The Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 25. He is the judge. Acts, chapter 10, verse 42. And the head of the church. Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 23. He's called Master. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 19. He's called the faithful and true witness. Revelations, chapter 3, verse 14. He is the rock. 
1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. He is the door. Gospel of John chapter 10, verse 9. He's the living water. Gospel of John chapter 4, verse 10. He is the bread of life. Gospel of John chapter 6, verse, 20, uh, verse 35. He is the Rose of Sharon. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1. He is Alpha and Omega. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 13. He is the true vine. Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 1. He is Messiah. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 25. Teacher. Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 2. Holy One. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 24. Mediator. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 The beloved Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6 The branch Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 Carpenter Gospel of Mark chapter 6 verse 3 Good shepherd Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 11. The light of the world. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. The image of the invisible God. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 15. The word. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1. Chief Cornerstone, the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 20, Savior, the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 42, Servant, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 18, Author and Finisher of our Faith, the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2, the Almighty. Revelations chapter 1 verse 8. Everlasting Father. Whew. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Shiloh. Genesis chapter 49 verse 10. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Revelations Chapter 5, verse 5. The Great I Am. Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 58. King of Kings. 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 15. Prince of Peace. Book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. Bridegroom. The Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 9, verse 15. Only beloved son. Gospel of John. Chapter 3, verse 16. Wonderful counselor. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 9, verse 6. Emmanuel. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 23. Son of Man, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 28. Day Spring, Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 78. The Amen, Book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 14. King of the Jews, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verse 26. Prophet, Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 21, verse 11. Redeemer. The book of Job, chapter 19, verse 25. 
the anchor, the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 19. Bright morning star, the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 16. The way, the truth, and the life. Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus Christ, the anointed one. So, as you and I share love, joy, and gifts during this time of the year, let's join together in sharing our personal relationship with others about the love, the peace, and the joy that we get from our relationship, our personal relationship with the gift to all humanity, the greatest gift to humanity, and that's Jesus Christ, which leads us to Almighty God, our Creator. Creator. It's about a relationship of love, joy, and peace with Jesus. It's not a religion. It's about a relationship. I come to you and I talk to you about my relationship. Some people say, oh, you're religious. No, I have a relationship. And I thank God for that solid relationship because Jesus just keeps on interceding for me despite my imperfections. He intercedes with God and Forgive her, God. She's flesh. She makes mistakes. Forgive her. But make no mistake, everyone. God is patient and long-suffering, but he does have a point where he says, enough. So don't take him to that point of saying, enough. No one wants to be taken to that point, especially a God that loves you beyond comprehension. So I ask that you please see below this recording and click on thumbs up showing that you like this information. Not just for my sake, let YouTube know that this is a welcomed and appreciated conversation. And also, for those who have not already, click on subscribe and subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the notification bell. Like I said, three images will appear. Ring on the, the click on the solid one. That means you'll be notified often of my uploads, uh, recordings available to you. Please, if you would, leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions. I want to know what you found out through the scriptures about why we celebrate Jesus' birth. What proclamations do the Bible mention that you know that I didn't share? Type them in so other people can see it. In your comments, type it in so other people can see, oh, yeah, she didn't mention that. And, oh, yeah, that's good to know. If you have information that can bless someone else, don't keep it to yourself. Type it in on the comments, please. And if you would, please share this information with everyone. There's many people I'm sure you encounter that doesn't know this. They don't know it. Be generous, especially this during this time of the year and all throughout the year. Be generous. Share with information about this YouTube channel. I have different guests that I host. We cover many different subjects, some really great ones uh, that, that uh, emphasize about how Christ bless our life and about saving money and about investing money. We cover 
the scales of all different information that will bless you. That's the intention of this channel is to bless you and bless you abundantly. That's the foundation of what this YouTube channel is about. And I pray that you respond by giving me a thumbs up and encouraging me to share this information with everyone. Send it to them through text. Send it through, to them through uh, Facebook. P post this 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 broadcast and all any of my broadcasts on your Facebook page, on your Twitter feed, on your Instagram feed. Just spread the good news, okay? That would be a, an immense blessing to me and I pray to many other people. Type in comments concerning what you see, see and found in the scriptures that maybe I didn't mention that other people would be blessed by. I pray that you will do that. So, if you please, if you would, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay connected with me. And I'll talk with you real soon. So click on subscribe and ring the notification bell. And for all who've already subscribed, Thank you for all who've given me thumbs up to encourage me to. Thank you. And for all who've spread the good news about this YouTube channel. Thank you. So, last but not least, happy birthday, Jesus. And Merry Christmas to all of you.